Cinema presents Supermodels du Monde, the ultimate supermodel series. We're counting down a hundred extraordinary catwalkers from every corner of the planet, from the land down under to the Far East. We're ranking each region's most stunning strutters. In this program, we're counting down alluring beauties from Asia. Rich with culture and bursting with commerce, the world's largest continent also turns out a multitude of models with exquisite features to match their diverse backgrounds. Get to know Tao. I'm so glad that people, you know, want me to do it. I can wear so many amazing stuff. Yuzhwala. I'm from Bombay. I'm the only Indian supermodel. Ray. I'm pretty open to joining the showbiz industry. The degree is more of like a security blanket because it's something you can fall back on. Ming. I'm from Shanghai, so that's like a big city in China. It is a fashion city. Lakshmi. Life in India is very different from what it's like here. Luan. I never think a Chinese girl can do this show, but uh, I'm forced to Chinese models, so I'm worried. Exciting. And Fei Fei. The feeling is amazing. You know, everything is just you. The light at you is amazing. Watch and find out which of these seven stunners is number one on our list. And you two can choose your favorite. And to kick off the countdown, at number seven, it's Ming. 23-year-old Ming makes becoming a model sound effortless. I just find an agency, agency front me, actually, and then I start modeling. Quite easy. When Ming represented China in the Elite Model Look Competition, agents were impressed by her leggy look and poised persona. I'm quite tall, like in China, like quite tall girl, so that's why they find me to be a model, and then, okay, I think like that's a good job. My parents just like, okay, just do whatever you want to do. That's your life. We caught up with Ming backstage at New York Fashion Week, where she was getting ready to walk in designer Prabal Gurung's fall show. Oh, I'm so excited to like be in this show because like all the dress is like so romantic, but they still got like some strong pieces. I wearing a pants, it's quite uh, a strong one. On the top there's like a half fur jacket, black and white. I'm from Shanghai, so that's like a big city in China. It is a fashion city. I mean now it's getting better, like more close to here or the like fashion week. It's more professional. Despite Ming's hometown pride, her favorite runway moment happened in Paris. I think that's my first like first campaign that's with with work with Ricardo to see the the Givenchy one. I love that so much. I mean like this is my first one, so I'm like quite new and then oh my god! You know? The feeling is always changing. Like at first you like be nervous or like scared and then you get used to that, you feel exciting and then you enjoy it. So that's quite cool. The runway pro is fast on her feet, but even the best can get tripped up on the catwalk. Once like at a show and uh, I, I was blocked by something and uh, the, at the finale and the, when I go out just like fall down. That, that's so awful. I feel so sorry for that. As for life after the runway, Ming has an open mind. I might stay in this industry, but do something else. I just planning to do the like couple of fashion week, and uh, I don't know yet, but I gonna find out what I, I want to do. Coming in at six, get to know Ray. I'm 20 years old this year. I was born in Singapore. 
um, spent all my life in Singapore. Today, Ray is a well-known and accomplished singer and actress, but back in 2001, the Singapore native was as studious as she was stunning. I planned a major in banking and finance, but uh, I'm pretty open to joining the showbiz industry. The degree is more of like a security blanket because it's something you can fall back on. I try to do ads. Um, I've done two television commercials. Everyone just hopes and prays for the ads. So do I. The money's good. It's fun because they have they usually have a lot of different themes. They dress you up really crazily sometimes. To navigate her hectic schedule of photo shoots and final exams, Ray mastered getting around the city in style. She gave us a tour. <laughs> a lot of the models they walk, especially the, the foreign models, they I don't know, I, I suppose they like the weather. This is the cheapest, the easiest, no most no brainiest mode of transportation. The only problem is it's very hot in Singapore. Even though you see all these trees around, it, it doesn't help. Very important, have a very comfortable pair of shoes, flat shoes, no heels like that, see? Right now we're gonna go on a tri-shaw. It's uh, not a very typical way of getting around in Singapore, but it's, it's very touristy, but it, it works for short, short distances. Something I haven't done in many, many years. Basically, the origins of this, uh, this tri-shawl or rickshaw, uh, it started when men used to pull carriages itself um, on barefoot. Basically, it's leg power, but it's much more humane. You know, you have the wind in your hair, so that's kind of sexy. We're going to ch check out the next mode of transportation in Singapore, the taxi. Now we've just left Bugis Street and we're in a Singaporean taxi going towards uh, the, the town area, Orchard Road. There is a nice aircon here. It's fast, you don't have to wait at bus stops and everything, so normally a preferred method of transport. We're gonna get on the bus. That's a very cheap way to get around, very convenient. It's uh, air conditioned, most of the buses nowadays are air conditioned. And the best thing is you can watch TV. My mum used to bring me um, all over Singapore in buses. One of the hippest, cheapest, most dangerous way of getting around is motorcycle. But we do have a helmet law here, so don't forget your helmet. And uh, hope for a good looking driver. I hope you've enjoyed this mini tour and I hope you take my advice. But the most important thing is there's plenty to see in Singapore, so keep moving. Landing at number five, meet Fei-Fei. Hi everybody, I'm Fei-Fei. Now we are in pairs, dress one or time backstage. This season, the clothes is amazing and have many color inside and uh, a lot of makeup and, and the hair is like natural, but some, some point is very good, like the eyeshadow, the color, and the hair, you say, it's very beautiful, amazing, yeah. Fei Fei faced some tough competition when she decided to become a model. But she didn't let that stop her. In 2008, she represented China in the Elite Model Look Contest. Her signature cheekbones and powerful gait caught the eye of agents from around the globe. The elite model look the match, and I joined the agency and uh, started modeling. Yeah, it's very good, and it's my first uh, match in my life. In 2009, Fei Fei made her official Fashion Week debut in London. Designer Nathan Jenden cast his spring show with a gamut of diverse models, and Fei Fei was among the standouts. Yeah, I'm from China, Shanghai. Shanghai is, is my favorite city. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm living in Shanghai, but I'm from Shandong. It's near Shanghai, the city. Shanghai is quickly grow up a modern city. Yeah. Traveling is like, I can see different city, people, building and eat some delicious food. It's very good. New York for me, I, I love New York and Paris. You know, like in New York, everything is easy and if you're working there, it's very good. 
Paris, the city is very beautiful and you can like traveling with your family, your friends, it's very, very good. Frequent flyer miles aren't the only thing Fei Fei loves about her job. She has a true passion for her craft. I like, I enjoy um, like the fashion week, every day is crazy, busy, but you know, the feeling is very good. I love fashion week. When I'm working on the runway, everything I feel is changed. You know, the camera, the fashion director, everybody look at me. The feeling is amazing. You know, everything is just you. This moment, just you, is very good. Me like the light at you. It's amazing, yeah. At number four, it's Indian beauty, Ujwala. My name is Ujwala and I'm from Bombay. I'm the only Indian supermodel. <laughs> of course, when she became the face of Yves Saint Laurent, everyone knew who she was. Well, I've been modeling in New York for like about nine months, but of course not all the time here because I'm mostly based in Paris. And I really enjoy it. <laughs> Actually, my first break was with Yves Saint Laurent with Tom Ford, uh, which was last uh, October, and that's when everything started rolling for me. It was really hard, like, there are no Indian girls, and you don't know how you're going to do over here, because you're not a blonde girl with blue eyes. I was very, very nervous when I had to actually go and see Tom Ford, and my, I could I could feel my heartbeat cycling so fast, beating so fast. And yeah, I was nervous because the heat was super high and I was working with all the top models. And I remember there were like 14 top models and this was one girl who was really new and everybody was like, who is she, who is she, who is she? I like that you always you're always made to look beautiful and you're always made to look sexy and you get to wear the clothes before anybody else buys them. <laughs> so you get to wear all the new stuff which I'm sure people dream about. And the best part is that you travel a lot and meet the most amazing people on this planet. I'm done Oscar De La Renta, Anne Klein, Carlos Mili, Zach Posen of course, Bajle Mishka, Tula, Luca, Luca, uh, Basio Escobar. So it's been really like a lot of hard work. Betsy Johnson, Alice Roy. And I can't remember because still now I've done like 25 shows. I can't even remember the names anymore. Usually when people look at me, they, they, they think that I'm Brazilian or South America or somewhere like Spanish or Argentina or something like that. And when I say I'm from India, they're like really amazed. Because they say, oh, we have never seen Indian girls which are this tall and skinny. I remember when I first came to Paris and they were sending me to Chanel. I couldn't even pronounce how Chanel was. <laughs> so, and every time my booker would be like, oh, you have to go here, you have to go there. And I would be like, who is that? Who is this? In India, it's mainly Indian clothes and it's very rich and royal and regal. It's totally different. The girls in India are mainly supposed to be staying in the four walls and they're meant to learn cooking and cleaning and how to please your husband. And probably I was really rebellious and I always fought with my mom and I had to make them understand that that's what I didn't want to do. They think like I should come home because now all my older sisters they're getting married and they're like oh you have to come back and take care of us and I'm like mom you can come and live with me in Paris at number three it's Japanese stunner Tao hi I'm Tao Known for her bob haircut, sweet smile, and long stride, this Japanese beauty is a favorite of designers around the world. I won't tell you how long, but a long time I'm doing it. <laughs> Someone asked me to do. I didn't like my height. I was too tall for 
you know, Japanese girl or something. So, yeah, like, I just wanted to try, yeah. I'm so glad that people, you know, want me to do it. So, yeah, very good. It's very hard because it's so many competition and um, the, the most I hate point is we can't make any appointment to go out or you know just hang out with friends because we never know what I was you know we are going to get so that's very hard yeah but generally I like it <laughs> I hardly get nervous and if I get it, which is good I mean like it means I get excited sometimes they're they have like ridiculously high heels but yeah we can manage <laughs> That's a part of job. I can wear so many amazing stuff. Yeah. Today I'm wearing analysis a dress. Yeah. So I I quite like simple. I don't know. My size is weird. It's all mixed up. <laughs> Benetton was very fun, but also I did a Ralph Lauren, which wasn't like, which was um picture from a uh, backstage at the show. So I didn't do extra working but I got a campaign which was great. <laughs> I was born in Tokyo, raised up there and I spent one year in England and uh, I've been traveling for three years now, Paris, Milan, here, now I live in here and I have two sisters in Tokyo. When she's not circling the globe for Fashion Week, Tao enjoys the cultural offerings of New York City. If I have free time, I'd like to go to see shows in Broadway. Yeah, that's my um, hobby. I quit my university in my second grade and I studied music, so that's why I like the show musical. I used to play the clarinet, but I sing. In my iPod, there are full of uh, show tunes. <laughs> Not practice, but I can go to karaoke sometimes. I love to see the shows. I don't, yeah, that's kind of my dream to be a part of a show, but I don't think I'm going to be. No, it's just a big dream. Runner up on our countdown, it's exotic Lakshmi. Model Lakshmi Menon is a sultry Indian beauty. Her runway career began at home in India in 2006 and has since landed her on major runways from New York to Paris. I've been modeling for two years now. It was uh, I was at university. I was at the college canteen. I was just having a cup of coffee and this someone just came over and they were like, you know, are you interested in modeling? You're tall, you know, you're nice looking. I was like, okay, why not? Because, you know, I know it's good money. I mean, you know, I grew up looking at uh, Naomi Campbell and Cindy Crawford and their faces plastered all over these magazines. And then to see yourself, it was, it was quite uh, surreal in the beginning. I did the spring summer campaign for Hermes and right now I've done the autumn winter campaign for Givenchy. When I'm not modeling, I like to go back home. I like to spend time with my parents and my friends and family. I miss home, I get homesick. I grew up in a city called Bangalore. Um, I went to school there and I finished my undergraduate studies there. Um, life in India is very different from what it's like here. studying economics so uh, yeah it was a, it, it's a it's a pretty intensive course and uh, so it's nice to take a break from all of that and just you know this is a completely different way of living and it's good fun I'm enjoying it Great. I mean, I didn't expect I would get this far because it, like, it, it was just a s small job in the beginning. 
and now it's full time. So um, I'm happy, I'm enjoying it while it lasts and just sort of enjoying, enjoying the fast life. <laughs> Topping our list, it's the leggy, lovely Luen. My name is Liu Wen. Because my in name is Chinese name, so Liu is my family name, Wen is my first name. So it's different. Liu Wen's rise to the runway came about under rather unique circumstances. Um, I think it's very interesting because I studied modeling for just for the contest and uh, I really want to for win the computer. And you won the contest? I didn't really want it, but you know the contest, if you win, you have the presence for the one computer. And uh, because I'm before it's very young, I really wanted the computer, so I just do the contest. <laughs> it's very funny, so I thought some people and some people can believe this. After I um, moved to Beijing and uh, doing the model, the job, and it, because I really like it, because uh, I'm shooting a lot magazine in China and uh, shooting a lot of campaign in China, so everybody know me. Wen calls China home, but New York has a special place in her heart. Because New York Luca is a, is a very big family, so have a lot of the different country, the people and uh, have a lot of good Chinese restaurants, and uh, so it's good. In 2009, Wen reached a major milestone when she became the first Asian model to walk for Victoria's Secret. I never think a Chinese girl can do this show. Yeah, because I, I, before it's my dream, because everybody thinks of Italy as a girl is very sexy and uh, have huge big boobs. So Luca is very nice. But uh, I'm first the Chinese models, so I'm very excited. I'm shooting the CK, Kaiwen Clan CK, the campaign. I think it's, it's different because I'm first the Chinese model shooting this. I love the runway a lot. The Chanel before Alexander McQueen. Because McQueen always very different. Sometimes it's very crazy, interesting. But the Chanel always classic. And I love a lot show. When she's not jet-setting for fashion shows, Wen studies tourism. Yes, I'm studying this. Yeah, because I, I, um, I very love to travel in different places because I love to go to the uh, holiday and uh, go to different places, meeting different people and eat different food. So I love it. I think the modeling is the same this. Because if I'm studying modeling, I can travel in different places for the shooting fashion week and the meeting top designer, top model. So it's very good, the scene. <laughs>